the Imam of our time is the Hussein of our time, we've got to start feeling that we need to deal with that Imam of ours the way the people at the time of Imam al Hussein should have and they didn't except for a small few. That needs to be our thought process on a regular basis, daily. There's a comparison or a parallel between us and the Imam of our time and Imam al Hussein and the people at that time that sort of scares me every time I remember it and I realize it. And that is the same way that the people at the time of Imam al Hussein sent those letters for the Imam to come, begging him, asking him to come. According to some accounts, 12,000 letters. All right. When the Imam came, how many people showed up? The largest figure I have seen from many reliable sources, 130. 12,000 letters, 130. And 130 is actually inclusive of those who didn't write the letters because they came with the Imam from Mecca. You exclude them, it's probably within maybe 20, 30 that came from Kufa. Every dua that you and I make when we ask our Imam to return, when we say, Allah Ta'ala Farajahu Sharif, when we perform the dua, Allahumma kulli waliyik or ilahi azum al bala, that is very similar to the letters written to Imam al Hussein at that time. But I'm afraid that if we don't start thinking about this and we don't start considering ourselves in those circumstances, that if the Imam were to come, we would respond to him in a very similar way that the people of Kufa responded to him. And that is without exaggeration. I think, personally, the only reason why the Imam of our time is not with us is that reason.